guys, Sam from Hot Mess Homeschool Mom again with you today. And today I wanted to share with you something really special. Um, I've been waiting for this to come and I'm super excited to show it to you. So I'm actually gonna do this in two parts. Um, I'm gonna, hi little dude. Um, I'm gonna do this in two parts. So I'm gonna do an unboxing first um, and then I'm going to um, kind of segue into us actually using it. So I kind of wanted to split it up because anybody with kids knows trying to do an unboxing with children is not that easy. So I want you to kind of be able to see what you get. So basically what I'm um, introducing today is Bitsbox. And Bitsbox is... Um, so it's coding. So, and, and I, I know I mentioned this in my previous video about, about um, problem solving, about how important I believe coding is. So Bitsbox is a subscription service um, where they send you, I believe it's every month, um, and I'd have to double check on that, but um, you sign up for a subscri subscription, I think it's three months, six months, a year, whatever it may be, and they send your kids uh, new coding um, activities um, that they can then keep and use on their tablets, etc. So I'm gonna go through and just kind of show you what you get. Um, Bitsbox was so generous in sending me this to try out and I'm so excited to give this a shot and see this a shot and see um, see how my kids enjoy it. I'm sure they're gonna love it, but um, so let's get started. Let me, let me start opening and showing you what you get. So when you open the box, you get this cool little um, kind of how to so because I'm <laughs> just it's just me I opened the box already and unboxed it for myself just so I could see what I was getting into and I did all these steps first so you you need a computer with a physical keyboard so I just pulled up my laptop you go to the web browser and you pull up um, bitsbox.com slash code and then you set up your account um, so I did that already. So when we do the unboxing, I'm, I'm skipping, I'm sorry, when we actually do the activity, I, I'm skipping that because I've already done it. Um, and it will just load me into my account um, so we can get started. So there's that, it gives you a little rundown on what you, um, what it's all about. And that's pretty much it. So it's a quick little how-to. Then you open it up again. And, um, this is what it looks like when you open it. So it's super cute, package. Um, then they give you a grown-up guide. So this is obviously the grown-up guide and it tells you, um, so we have the Animal House edition and there's different editions. Each month is a different um, set of themed uh, coding activities from what I understand. Um, so you open it up and it tells you kind of Mom, what- Mom, we can do it on our iPad. You, you can do it on your iPad. It you says can, it right there. It does, it does say it right there. <laughs> So um, it'll tell you what your objectives are for this particular set. And um, so in this one, they're gonna be learning coordinates and I believe um, inserting um, a stamp. So they get to pick a stamp. I believe, I got an email the other day that you can, um, you can now upload pictures as stamps. So I'm gonna have to check that out and I'll let you know how that goes. Um, I haven't obviously tried it yet because we didn't do the basic uh, first box yet. So there's that. So it tells you what you're learning, um, gives you a little quick uh, how to. So I'll be referring to this quite a bit. Um, and then as little dude was saying, you can then, as, as the child does the um, game or whatever it is they're creating, they can then transfer it to their iPads, tablets, whatever, and you do that through a QR code, um, which it will helpfully show you. So I, again, did this. I made sure this was all set up so we were ready to roll um, as we went through this. So then the next part you get to is the actual cards. Um, they're still packaged, so I will unpackage them for you quickly. Um, if I can open it. <laughs> Buddy, you wanna go get me a pencil really quick? hold that so we'll go through this and then they get little um stickers which i believe then goes with this so i did not open this part yet so this is the binder um when you first i believe your first set you get this binder thanks bud um you get this little binder and we'll, we'll open it that they can keep all of the cards that i just showed you in and it's upside down <laughs> um and 
it's super cute. I believe this is where they can keep the stickers and then the cards, um, when I open them, give me a minute, um, the cards then go in here and they can keep a running, um, as they get new boxes in and keep a running um, collection of all the things they've learned and done and then probably can go back to it. So little dude is now showing me the next thing that comes in it, which I believe is just a fun little thing for the kids. Um, trading cards didn't open them I'll let him open them I don't think it has anything to do with the actual coding itself I think it's just like a fun little extra thing um I believe the package they sent me thank you Bits box is the um like the plus package and this again, is sponsored <laughs> well it's not sponsored they were just super super nice and they gave me this um now to it's check sponsored out. okay um, so little, uh, stickers, um, like I said, I think they sent me the deluxe box, which comes with the extras. You can, um, elect to go, I believe with just the standard and I don't think it comes with this bits box. Please feel free to comment on the video below if I am incorrect in any of what I'm saying. Um, kind of on the fly here. So, um, but it's a little paint by sticker book and, um, this, this helps with the coding, you know, obviously coding is pieces and putting them together and blocks and all that. So Can I go and do it's, that? it's sure in a minute, bud. Where are the colors? Um, so in the back, there's the stickers that go with it. So it's, it ties in. Um, so that's what you get in the box. Um, give me one minute. And then, so that's, that's all of it. So that's the unboxing. Um, let me go back to opening up the cards really quick. And give me one minute. Yeah, I poked through the holes too. Thank you, bud. Um, still working on it. <laughs> hey, ladies, I'm gonna go and check out the thingy. Book. Okay, you go check out the thingy. Where's the book? So uh, this this is awkward because I legit can't get this open. <laughs> um, eh. there we go. I got it. I can't find Yay. the book. Okay, so these are the little cards, and there's quite a few of them. Um, so it'll tell you keep track of the apps you've coded. So this must be, you know, like the, the menu type one, um, mini apps to get you started, instructions on the back. So I'm not gonna go through every single one because I really want you guys to check this out too. Um, if you go to Bitsbox, the pricing is on there. You can try, I believe, one box. I, I believe you can try, um, you know, like a three month and see if it works for you. I can't imagine it wouldn't. This is such a super fun way and it keeps the kids interested because kids love getting stuff in the mail. Um, and I know a lot of us homeschoolers um, are always looking for STEM activities. Um, STEM science especially seems to be the hardest for me to find my spine um and and actually stick with so um you know we do the whole science museum things and stuff like that but i really um i want to incorporate stem in a fun way in my homeschool rather than just no, doing I a book and this is to it. this is the same um idea uh that you can continuously work on something but in a fun way so that's the unboxing for our bits box i believe deluxe edition again i want to thank um bits box for sending this me to me to check out so um next i'm going to try it out with my kids i'll kind of just video them checking it out i'm sure it'll be chaos <laughs> because that's just how we roll. Um, but definitely check these out. From what I can tell, they, they look super fun and super easy to do. The setup was super easy on um, on their website. The only thing you need is a, a, a computer with a laptop. So at this point, you can't just do it based off of um, a, a tablet or an iPad or a phone or something like that. You actually need a legit computer. But so super simplistic hard. to set up. Um, as you can see, they, they kind of walk you through it. So even if you are not comfortable with coding, like myself, um, you can you can help your kids and do it along with them. And um, it's pretty easy. There's nothing crazy complicated here. So um, that's my unboxing of Bitsbox. If you have any questions at the end of this, um, please feel free to drop a comment below. Go check their website out. They are awesome. They are truly awesome. This is one of my favorites and I can already, even before I even tried this, I already get the sense that I'm gonna sign up for the year because I don't know, it's just super fun. And then I don't have to worry about, you know, having an actual coding <clears throat> or curriculum or something like that. I know that they're going to be continuously working on their coding skills every month with a new set, so. Thank you for checking this out and I hope you enjoy watching us try to figure this out as a family. Hey guys, okay, so we're back. Um, I did a quick unboxing of the amazing Bits box. 
uh, box that we were sent. Um, and now we're gonna give it a shot and actually put it into action uh, and see how it goes. I have my lovely assistant, Lovey, over here who's going to give this a shot. Um, so again, just a reminder, um, I already did this entire setup um, prior to even doing the unboxing. Uh, so when I go to the website, it's actually going to just log me in automatically. Um, so this screen will not be the screen that you see. Um, lovely ad from Apple there. Um, so give me one second, let me log in really quick. It's box.com code sorry guys trying to keep the camera steady while I'm typing this in um, so again so it, it's gonna log me in automatically so I'm logged in as hot mess um, and oh look it actually has the apps I was messing around with it myself so um, there's the apps we already did but I'm actually going to get lovey started and let her play with it um, so the first thing we do we have we set our little book up um, we have our instruction thing on our menu and the first one she's going to do is the mini apps to get you started as you can see there is a set one on there um, so these are the instructions and she's going to start on here I'm gonna set her up for new app which is at the bottom uh, and I'm gonna let her play around with a little bit she has a little bit of background encoding um, not much but um, you know we've we played around with with uh, different things so she's she's pretty familiar I'm just gonna let her roll and play with it so you can see kind of how user-friendly this is the screen you get um, so she's doing that she types in the code for that particular one so it's stamp mm -hmm. okay and then follows the coding instructions as follows I love. Is it this one? Um, nope, you are gonna do an apostrophe. So shift and then that one right there. Nope, right here. There you go. Now you can, nope, nope. We Sorry. missed. No, 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 you're good. Shift there. Nope, mommy's got it wrong, obviously. No shift. So yeah, whoops, um, on the fly here. So you you would just need a um, parentheses and then an apostrophe. And then she types in the code. Monster mm -hmm. 23. So again, just a reminder, in this particular set, I believe we're learning um, coordinates and stamps. Um, so I'm just going to, while she types it in, I'm just going to show you kind of the objectives that we're looking at here. Um, so uh, introducing coordinates and then fill stamp and text. So all of these different uh, lines she's doing are obviously teaching her that. Um, is there a space here? Um, nope, just an equals. Okay. Equal sign. Right up there. There you go. Yep, and then you... Oh, I'm used to the touch screen. I know, I'm used to the touch screen too. And there you go. So she typed in stamp. She's got her stamp. She's super proud it's of herself. So cute. <laughs> and then she's gonna do the next line. So the next line is gonna teach her to do something else. Um, and then, and again, the, from what I understand, it flows like that. You type in the code name of the project you're working on. Okay, so now it's song. Are we gonna get copyrighted? No, we're not gonna okay, get copyrighted. <laughs> we're just giving people an idea. We're not gonna do the whole thing. I just wanted to kind of show how, how it's set up and, um, our lovey is nine, so you know this can be done. Um, really, like I like I said in my problem solving video, the younger the better. Uh, as you can see, this is pretty pretty simple, um, but fun. And I'm pretty. I'm gonna give it a shot with little dude and see how he does. He's you ready? Not yes, I am ready. Not touch screen. Oh. Our other laptop is touch screen, so we're all. Uh, Oh, and so she now was able to code in a song. So that's the first step. Um, can you make the monster dance instead? So I'm not really sure how you would do that. Maybe we would change instead of this, equal in burn, maybe you would type in dance. Um, and again, I'm new at coding myself, so I'm learning with the kids as they go. Um, 
So why don't you do the next line and see. So now we're gonna learn uh, fill sound. I mean, this is really cool stuff. It, then again, to remind you guys, once they make something, they can actually, using a QR reader, then send it to their own devices so, um, so they have it. Um, so this is a build as you go, and it's, it's nice to have a little, um, I guess, memento of, of the things you're actually coding and seeing it um, for yourself. So don't forget your, print, your uh, apostrophe oh. there, because that's your command right before lava. Oh, so she's she's rolling with an oh maybe not. All right, so there she learned fill. So as you can see, she's learning different things. Um, what as if we what if I make my own? <clears throat> well, I don't know. Let's see what happens. What if you make your own? Because I actually didn't try this yet. Oh wait, that's wrong. Why don't you do it with the lettering when you <clears throat> excuse me get to the next uh, line? Hmm. How about always? Always the going against the green and uh, trying things out. I love this about her. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna we're gonna play with it. Maybe just follow the lines for now. We can play with it later, love. That's sad. I can't spell water. <laughs> All right. So she's going back and doing the instructions as uh, as done or as. Uh, I'll mess around with it later. Yeah, she'll mess around with it later. See, look at that. There's my problem solving girl. Um, so there's different instructions. I'm probably beating this horse to death, but I really want you guys to be able to see. Um, it's fun. You know, it, it walks you through it, and um, it's, it's just a really cool way to add in coding um, on their own. They can do this on their own. I mean, it's helpful, obviously, for me to be sitting here helping her, walking her through it, but... The explanations are so well um, put together that they can do this on their own. So this is pretty much, I'm going to let her do one or two more lines of code and then uh, and What then if I do 24? Ha, oh. oh, well, try, oh. try Monster 24 and see what happens. Okay. Maybe there's a Monster 24. So you see, she's getting the basic principles. Um, and then from that... Is this going to work? Oh! Oh! See? <laughs> Somebody's excited. So, so you can see. Yes, um, yes, yes, yes. She didn't follow directions as, um, as specified, but we got a new monster. So. Yes! I'm so just, proud. <laughs> I'm so proud too. So, this is Bitsbox, um, kind of in summary. Oh, I'm I think so I did a pretty, pretty decent job of showing you how it works out. I hope you guys check this stuff out. Um, really the subscription boxes I've looked into um, I was really really impressed by this one for the coding 35 um, oh and we're just gonna keep looking up monsters now but oh careful oh. with your line so yeah so so I'm gonna back her up for a second I'm gonna keep letting her play today but just I'm gonna let you show the rest of it uh, or I'm gonna show you guys the rest of it so you can, that's where the coordinates come into play right here. Um, that they're learning about where they can move different um, stamps oh, and it. letterings. So she's, she's delving into the bits box uh, cache of monsters here. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, so that's my take on bits box. Um, super fun. It was super easy to set up. Now she's I'm going to play with this all day. Okay, she's going to play with it It's better than best. Fortnite. It's it's better than Fortnite. You guys got it straight from the kid at their, themselves. So um, that's Fitzbox in a in that's only summary. That's my opinion, though. So okay, in summary, uh, that's what we got. And if you guys have any questions, comments below, please leave a comment. Um, check out Fitzbox website. Uh, they have some really better explanations than my ramblings, um, and you can see for yourself. You know how you want to get started if you want to just try a few boxes to get started and then go from there. I know myself, I as soon as she's done doing this, I'm going to go sign up for the year because I'm even more impressed with it seeing it in person uh, than I was online. So uh, again, thank you guys for checking this out. Thanks for supporting Hot Mess Homeschool Mom. Thanks for checking out uh, us exploring Bitsbox and all of my craziness and trying to show it to you. 
Uh, and as always, I uh, love you guys and uh, thanks for being with me on my hot mess journey. Talk to you soon. Bye. So guys, after I finish putting together the last uh, part of the video, I come down and uh, I see this. So I'm going to add this. Um, so Lovey, left to her own devices, um, decided she was going to just mess around and put in different things. Um, so the original um, card was nothing, <laughs> nothing like what she has up here. Uh, it's supposed to be hot stuff and it's supposed to be this, this particular card. But as you can see, she discovered that yes, she it's right there. around with different commands and kind of just ran with it. So this is what we got. Um, so Bitsbox, um, not sure <laughs> if this is a good thing or a bad thing to be showing, but um, you basically in about 10 minutes just taught my kid uh, how to mess around with different commands and she has just gone with it. So that's what we have. Um, nothing like what we were supposed to have, but uh, she's coding and um, I am beyond impressed with uh, with how this went. So I just wanted to share that. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, let your kids play. It's amazing. It's amazing how much they pick up left to their own devices. Bitsbox, you know, did an awesome job in explaining how to do things and enough so that she uh, felt brave enough to just start doing her own thing. So there we go, guys. Uh, coding, wave of the future. Put Where it in front of this? your kids. And, Where's uh, this? Where's this? Button? Watch as they come up with things beyond your wildest imagination that she did on her own with no prompting from me. So just wanted to share that. Um, Mom, hope you guys kind of see where I'm going with this, but super, super cool. Again, thanks for saying, thanks for, <laughs> oh, I can't even talk. I'm like so impressed with this right now. This is beyond my wildest expectations. Um, we are definitely big Bitsbox fans now. So thumbs up, thumbs up from the kiddo, thumbs up from me. And, um, let me know if there's anything more you guys want to see, anything you guys want me to check out and show you, because uh, this is some pretty cool stuff. All right, have a good one, guys. Talk Bye. Soon. Bye.